sure of you. Stan Palmer of Paxton flew B-17s, and Harold Simmons of Worcester flew B-24s during World War II. On Monday, thanks to the Collings Foundation, each boarded a plane they had not flown in for almost 65 years. The two vets flew from Manchester, New Hampshire to Worcester as a part of the Wings of Freedom Tour. We spoke with Stan Palmer recently about his experience flying the B-17. It was a tremendous aircraft. B-17, they would absorb tremendous amount of punishment. One time that we took this plane down to about 5,000 feet to bomb, and we even had bullet holes in the aircraft from rifles that were shot at the plane. You know, we were so busy, we, we weren't thinking about what was going on outside. You were flying formation. You have to concentrate on what you're doing, and you're not worrying about the fighters or what's going on around you. The crew's taking care of that. It brings back memories of learning to fly something like this, but by the same token, you didn't have much time to learn to do it. And they also, you know, threw it at you and you flew. And you did what you were told to do. As these vets disappear with time, so will a bit of history. Thanks to organizations like the Collings Foundation, some of that past will always be with us. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. No, no, no. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me till I come marching. They made a great landing at uh, typical of the Worcester Airport. A lot of turbulence on the approach, but that B-17 handled it well. It brought back a lot of memories. <laughs>